working on uh, using different dark field scattering methods uh, to study uh, sort of particle motions using uh, dark field microscopy. Uh, and then uh, he, after doing rotations, joined the lab and uh, <laughs> soon afterwards started developing uh, these nanoparticle based uh, fluorescence probes of, of mechanics. Uh, he spent uh, a good amount of time developing and understanding uh, the, uh, the nuances of how to attach uh, molecules to nanoparticles and then doing quantitative fluorescence measurements to determine conformations of these molecules. He then uh, applied this to, to studying the integrin class of receptors. Um, and uh, uh, after that work, uh, he was uh, very fortunate in uh, meeting uh, our collaborators, uh, Dr. Brian Evold here, uh, and uh, became familiar with some of the major questions in T cell activation, the question of T cell activation and the role of mechanics in that system. And that's where he started uh, using the techniques that he'll talk, talk to us about today toward better understanding of the mechanism of T cell activation. Um, and that's essentially what he'll talk about to us about today. Uh, he's had a very successful run. I just checked. There's something in the order of 10 peer-reviewed manuscripts that resulted from this work. I don't, hopefully he's not going to tell us all about it. He's just going to give us a small <laughs> summary. Um, and then uh, you know, I look forward to, to seeing his presentation. So. Thanks to everyone coming to my piece of defense. Today I'd like to talk about the physical aspect of life. 